Next, we want to look at applying multivariable marginal analysis to a very specific type of function referred to as a Cobb-Douglas function. So a Cobb-Douglas function is a function of the form f of xy equals some constant k times x to the m power y to the n power, where each of these constants, k, m, and n, would all be greater than zero. So what this function does, or uh, it's used by economists to describe the number of units f of x, y produced from the util utilization of x units of labor and y units of capital. So as a country, a business, any kind of organization applies labor and capital to produce something, how many units are produced based off these two different variables. In example four, we're told that the productivity of a certain country with the utilization of x units of labor, y units of capital is given by approximately this function. To start off, we want to find the partial derivatives with respect to x and y. So using Wolfram Alpha, we could calculate f sub x to be 64 times x to the negative 0.36 y to the 0 0.36 and f sub y, our partial derivative with respect to y, to be 36 x to the 0 0.64 y to the negative 0 0.64. So once we have our partial derivatives, we're then asked to find the marginal productivity of labor and the marginal productivity of capital. So for the marginal productivity of labor, we want to evaluate the partial derivative with respect to x at production or at uh, when we're utilizing 400 units of labor and 500 units of capital. So we're going to evaluate our partial derivative when x is 400 and y is 500 to calculate a marginal productivity of labor of 69.35. We want to do the same thing for marginal productivity of capital, except that we want to plug 400 and 500 into our partial derivative with respect to y, which will give us a result of 31.21. Then we're asked for the greatest increase in the country's productivity, the government should encourage increased use of which of these two things. So what we see from the marginal productivity of labor is that if our x variable, so if labor were to increase by one unit, productivity would increase by a little over 69 units. From the marginal productivity of capital, if our y variable, the use of capital, were to increase by one unit, our productivity would increase by about 31 units. So we're getting the larger change, the bigger positive change, by increasing our use of labor meaning we should encourage increased use of labor to generate more productivity. In example five, we have a bowling ball manufacturer with a Cobb-Douglas productivity model where X is labor in thousands, Y is capital in thousands, and Q is the number of bowling balls produced, again, in thousands. So we could start off by finding our two partial derivatives. So first our partial derivative with respect to x, and then our partial derivative with respect to y. And then if the factory currently uses 13,600 employees and $1.2 million of capital, we want to find the marginal productivity of labor and the marginal productivity of capital. So to find our marginal productivity of labor, Again, we want to evaluate the partial derivative with respect to x. In this case, when our value for x equals 13.6, since that represents our labor in thousands, and when y equals 1,200, since that represents our capital in thousands, which would yield a result of 2, 
And since that's in thousands, really what we mean is 2,000. For our marginal productivity of capital, we want to evaluate our, margin, our partial derivative with respect to y at those same two values. And we generate a value of 0 0.01. or 10, since that's represented in thousands. And then we're asked, would production increase more rapidly with 2,700 more employees or 200,000 additional dollars in capital? So what we can look at here is taking our labor. We know that for every one unit increase of labor, our productivity increases by two, meaning that for an increase of 1,000 units of labor, so an additional 1,000 employees, productivity will increase by 2,000. In this case, we are thinking about increasing by 2,700 employees, so that would be 2.7 times 2, giving us 5.4. So if we increase our employees by 2,700, we would see an increase in productivity of 5.4 or 5,400 units. For capital, if we increase our use of capital by one unit, we see an increase of $0.01 thousand dollars or ten dollars. So we could take, in this case, we're going to we are considering increasing our use of capital by two hundred thousand. So two hundred times .01 to give us two. So if we increase our capital by two hundred thousand dollars. The result is an increase in production of 2,000 units. So in this case, increasing our labor by 2,700 employees will generate a larger increase in total production.